You don't need something like that. I'm in college. I think I know what I'm talking about. No, I really don't. Anyways. <laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Katie, and I'm here again with another college video. Now, living in the dorms can be really fun, and it's a first-year experience that a lot of people can relate to, but one thing that is encompassed in the whole first year experience is moving in and there are some tips that I wish that I knew before I moved in there are also some things that I didn't want to bring and realized it when I was moving out so here's a video of what I learned and what my advice is for moving in it is the long stretch before I leave for college again for my second year. I'm going to be living in the dorms and I thought it would be a good video idea to show you what I am taking to the dorms or what you should or should not bring to the dorms because as a second year, I think I would know what to bring and what not to bring. But you know, I am one to overpack, so who knows. So first things first, I'm just going to go over the things you don't need to bring to your college dorm and then I'm probably going to go into um, a segment about what you should bring to the college dorm and then there are also going to be little tips and tricks on moving in um, scattered in between what you should bring to the college dorms. So keep that in mind and I hope you enjoy this video of college move-in tips. My school, UCI, actually does send me a packing list of what you have to bring or what they advise you to bring, but I mean... I bring what I want. So first thing that I'd want to say that you don't need to bring to your college dorm is all your clothes, all your shoes, everything from your home. You don't need all your clothes that are in your closet. My advice is see what you wear on a daily basis and what you would think you might want to wear on occasions, comfortability, I don't think that's a word. Also consider what the weather is the first term, like if it's super hot, you're not going to need your jeans and sweatpants and all that good stuff. Um, you're also going to have to keep in mind what the possible weather is, like if you're at a place where it snows, maybe you should pack all your snow gear. If you're in the place where it rains a lot, bring rain boots and umbrellas and everything. Just pack accordingly, but don't pack excessively. I know when you go to college you like to have the options of looking nice and everything face it girlfriend you're probably going to be rocking those gym shorts sweats t-shirts hoodies as soon as you possibly can because that's what I did I know when you have to wake up for 8 a.m. you're not going to really care about what you look like you just got to get yourself to class so also keep clothes that you might want to have for internships work interviews whatever because in college you're gonna have a lot more presentable clothes that you need to wear so keep that in mind as well another thing that you don't really need to bring to the college dorm are what if items or i want option items because if you like having options which is fine and everything but in excessive amounts that's not okay i know having options is pretty nice and everything but if you have too many options it can get really cluttered and really tight when you're trying to organize your dorm and put everything where it's supposed to be so keep that in mind when you're trying to pack another tip for what you don't need to bring are like excessive amount of decorations you don't need to have a big tapestry even though I clearly have one. This is my dorm tapestry. It is like a yin yang koi fish tapestry and this is probably the most simple kind of decorating there is. What I mean by simple decorating is like it takes up a lot of space and you don't have to manage it a lot. Now I'm also kind of just lazy when it comes to decorating. One thing that's nice about a tapestry is it covers a lot of area and you don't have to worry about it. You don't need to bring all your stuffed animals. You don't need to bring all your plushies or your throw pillows or throw blankets. Mostly because if it's on your bed, it's nice to be like decorating and like personalizing and everything. But when you sleep in it, they're most likely going to land on the ground in your dorm. And I am pretty sure your dorm mates or your roommates for that matter won't really enjoy stepping around your stuff that falls on the floor. So that's something I keep in mind. Also with the throw blankets, you don't really need blankets when it's super hot. So keep that in mind when you're packing. One thing that I really want to say about decorating everything, yeah, it's nice to customize the one place on campus that should feel like home, but you're moving into a place that's only temporary and when you have to move out, you're bringing all that stuff with you. So the more you bring, the more you have to bring back. So now that I got my angry what you don't need at a college dorm out of the way, here are some tips that you might want to consider while you're packing and what you want to bring to the dorms. The first tip is 
bring an electrical strip or a surge protector. I think they're the same thing, but I'm not really sure, so don't quote me on that. But bring an electrical strip, meaning you have one plug-in, but you have multiple outlets at the end and you can like plug more things in. It's nice to have that and not to mention it usually gives you a little bit of extension. Also, another thing that you should consider bringing to school is a fan. Now, I know some schools have air conditioning in their dorms, but at UCI, we don't got that. We ain't pampered. We ain't living like Larry and luxury. So we have to bring our own fans. Another tip is like a bathroom tip. If you're living in the dorms, I would bring an extra pair of flip-flops just for the showers because you don't know who's been standing there. You don't know what's going on in the showers. You don't know a lot about what happens in a shower. I would bring an extra pair of flip-flops just so you have protection from the floor to your feet. So bring an extra pair of flip-flops for the shower. Also for the shower, bring a shower caddy just so you have all your soaps and all your things that you're using in the shower together. Even if you have a cubby in the dorm bathroom and everything, um, it's not always secure in terms of people not going to use your soap. So try to keep a shower caddy so you can take it to and from your dorm. Another move-in tip for you is when you're moving in and you're packing all your things, try to pack in plastic containers or very structured um bins or anything i have laundry baskets and i also over here i have just clear plastic bins and one thing that my friend told me before i moved in my first year was if you bring plastic bins you don't have to worry about like plastic bags or suitcases breaking or ripping so that's one big thing that i want to throw out there if you like to cook that's great um just keep in mind that you're going to have to keep space for the things that you want to bring only because if you leave your things in the kitchen, they're most likely going to get used, if not stolen, because people also want to cook, but if they don't have their things, they might just look in the kitchen what's there, and they might just use your stuff without asking. So think about if you want to cook and bring your own appliances, but also keep in mind that you're going to have to store it. So try to remember what you like to eat and what you most likely will need to cook that. So yeah. So when you're moving in and like setting up your dorm room, try to bring like little organizers or little kind of dividers so you can organize your clothes or whatever you need it, um, easier. So keep that in mind too. So one tip that I remembered and I wish I knew this the first time I moved in was bringing soap. I mean, I had my body wash, face wash, um, shampoo, conditioner, all that good stuff. I had that, but try to remember you're going to do your own laundry, so you need laundry detergent. I forgot to bring mine, so I had a little period of time where I couldn't do laundry. But also keep in mind that if the staff can't fill the bathroom soap dispensers really easily bring your own hand soap just so you won't have dirty hands after the bathroom and all that good stuff also you might want to bring some wipes or towel rag so you can like kind of clean the dorm room before and after you move in and move out now you don't really need a full-size vacuum when you're in the dorms they usually provide one for you but it is nice to keep a hand like a hand dustpan and broom just so if you have something in your room or something spills it's an easier cleanup so keep that in mind too also handheld vacuums are really handy too one key thing that i brought to my college dorm but some of my friends didn't is a mattress topper dorms technically have mattresses on the bed frame or bed platform or whatever you have but sometimes the mattress itself isn't really comfortable so if you have a mattress topper it'll give a nice softer and more comfortable feel to it so Mattress toppers are really nice. So moving on into like move-in tips and what you should think about and what you should bring or pack accordingly. If you have a set move-in time, try to be the earliest one for that time so you don't have to wait in too many lines, especially if you're outside. At UCI, there are a lot of lines that you have to wait outside. And so if you're there earlier, you might have a long line to wait in, but at least you're ahead of the people that have to move into the same place as you, if that makes sense. So keep that in mind. So one thing that I want to say about hanger clothes is don't take your clothes off the hangers especially if it's like not too many um what i did was kind of section it into like jackets tops like nice pants and then what i did was get a large trash bag and i put all the clothes still on the hangers make sure the clothes are still in the hangers but i put a trash bag over the clothes and then the straps at the top the ties of the trash bag i would put them over the hanger um hanger part and the other side 
over it too so it encases the clothes inside just so it's separated and also protected and what I did was I separated it into jackets tops nice pants and I would label it and so all you have to do is really put it on top of like the laundry baskets or bin and then when you move in all you have to do is hang it up and it's already like nice good to go you don't have to sit there and put everything on a hanger Another tip that you have to consider before you move in is how much space you have. If you can, try to look at a floor layout plan and see how much room you have, especially according to what roommates you have. And so I'm in a triple. Last year I was in a double and I had a lot of room. But this year, since I'm in a triple, I'm probably going to have less space. So while I'm packing, I have to make sure I bring what I need and not excess of what I need and also see what I can put where. So in my double, I had a lot more drawer space, whereas in the triple, I have a lot more of like um kind of make your own space like it's empty space but if i don't have a bin or a container it's going to be kind of everywhere so keep that in mind when you're trying to move in how much space you have in the dorm Another move-in tip is, especially if you have projects or you're in a writing class, try to bring your own printer or scanner or copier like all in one, just because it's going to be a lot easier to manage. Um, not to mention you don't have to go to a library or a student center where it could charge you or possibly break down. So if you have your own printer, it's going to be a lot easier to like get your things printed and all your paperwork done. So keep that in mind too. My last tip in moving in and everything is try to get used to the housing community slash campus because the more familiar you are with the campus and where you are and where you're situated, the more comfortable you're going to feel. So what I mean by that is know where your dorm is, obviously, but also know where the food is. Also know how to get to your classes, like your path or route to your classes or to the main um, walkway to go to campus. So keep that in mind as well while you're moving in. And also keep in mind where drop offs are, because once you meet people, you want to hang out. Also, when you go home and you come back, it's nice to be like, oh, hey, meet me at this drop off point or I can be parked here and meet me there or drop me off here. It's just a lot easier when you find that out early on so then you have a bit more knowledge of the campus all right you guys that's all the tips that i have for you for moving in what you should pack what you shouldn't pack and i hope you found this video informative i hope you learned from this video what i learned and also what my friends have told me and experienced so if you like this video make sure you give it a big thumbs up if you didn't that's okay too but if you did like it make sure you subscribe for more katie content and i'll see you guys in the next one bye